Hi, it's Jamie with Scrapdastic Yarns, and in today's hashtag 50 gone by 2024, we're talking about falling off the wagon. Yeah, falling off the diet wagon. But first, as always, let's check in with the medical disclaimer. Always check with your physician or healthcare workers before starting any exercise program, diet program, or any of the information I share here. This information is my personal research into different health topics and is not to be considered medical advice. There you go. We've all fallen off the diet wagon. I will tell you this past week that I did. I fell off my regular plan of eating and things that I was doing, walking, exercise, all those kind of things. Did I beat myself up? No. Doesn't do any good to beat myself up. So, what do you do when you fall off the wagon? Well, let's just discuss it. You know how it goes. You're cruising along, following your eating plan, working out in general, doing everything right. Next thing you know, one slice of pizza turns into six, one scoop of ice cream turns into a pint, and you're banging your head against the wall, asking yourself where you went wrong. The answer is, you didn't. You didn't. Sometimes we have to indulge ourselves, okay? Having a dieting relapse isn't a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We'll all do it. Everyone does it. Even those guys that talk about eating clean, I guarantee you they fall off the wagon. They have a beer, liquor, something. Ann Kramer, a licensed mental health counselor in Florida, says, I constantly encourage my clients not to go on a diet, but to live a diet. They need to focus their lives on the development of their wholeness in terms of their physical, emotional, intellectual, sexual, and spiritual selves. Since falling off the diet is a given, what's important, they say, is knowing what to do when it happens. When it comes to maintaining weight loss, people who have de developed good relapse skills during weight loss process are more likely to keep the weight off. Yeah. There are ways that you can go to get back on track, and that's important to get back on track. The more difficult type of relapse is the chronic variety. Somewhere along the line, you loosen up. You can't really pinpoint when, but you realize you haven't been to the gym. You're snacking, and not on broccoli. Far too much. In short, you've given up, even if only temporarily. Usually what this means is you've lost your motivation and need to renew it. Sit down and take stock. When you were following your program, how did you feel? What was motivating you then? If you can recreate these feelings, you can get that desire back. Learn your triggers. When you do have a lapse, pick yourself up and return to your maintenance plan. Write a list of the situations and then plan on an alternative for each risk. For example, if you're on a business trip or staying in a hotel, don't order room service, and don't get the key to the convenience bar. Or, you and your toddler are having lunch instead of reaching for the fries, take a drink of water instead. Reinforce the new behaviors with small rewards that will keep you motivated. If you don't eat off your child's plate for two weeks, have a pedicure. In addition, exercise and move your body every chance you get. Exercise and physical activity relieve stress, raise endorphins, and most importantly, burn off calories. Don't say no. Really? You can avoid thinking of terms of a relapse by changing your relationship with food. If you learn to make the right choices, you won't feel that you're dieting, and there will be no need for you to go off your plan in the first place. 
That means don't deprive yourself of a snack at night. That's what you want. But trade in the high fat ice cream for low, low calorie popsicles or realize that if you do eat the ice cream, you will plan for it appropriately during the day. Put it in there. Don't ever forbid yourself. As soon as you do, you'll feel deprived. You'll wind up eating what you really wanted and then you'll feel guilty. Never say never. That only sets yourself up for an all or nothing response. No one is perfect. And you know, some of the other suggestions were be if you do give yourself ice cream as a treat, only have half a cup. You know, generally the first few bites are all we want to begin with. There are a few more tips to do if you get off track. Give yourself time to feel disappointment. We all fall off course <clears throat> from time to time and we may feel discouraged or upset with ourselves. While many people tend to avoid thinking about these feelings, give yourself permission to feel them instead of pushing them away. Remember that lapses happen. Recognize that they do happen. One of the most dangerous things is refusing to admit something instead of facing it. Keep in mind it is not the end of the world and that you can pick yourself back up again. Don't beat yourself up. While you may be disappointed in yourself, don't beat yourself up about it. Be positive with yourself and try not to wallow in negativity. Once again, reflect on your goals in order to get on back back on track with your health goals. Remember what those goals were. What motivated you to get start getting healthier habits in the first place? You may have gotten distracted because you forgot your goal or other priorities took precedence. Decide whether your goals are worth the effort and if they are, be determined to get back on track again. And sometimes the priority is to be social with more people. And there are ways to have healthy choices without going overboard. One is to share dessert. All right, take action. Taking even the slightest step forward allows you to reaffirm your commitment to yourself and your goals. Instead of dwelling on what happened, try to focus on moving forward. Keep an open mind. Try approaching your diet goals again with an open and positive mind. Establishing new habits isn't robotic. Boy, isn't it. But part of the learning process that allows you to discover more about yourself. Each time you fail, pick up yourself, pick up yourself back up, pick yourself back up. You learn more about yourself and find new ways and tricks to stick to your goals. Remember the benefits. When you feel like giving up, remember rewards that come with weight loss and better fitness. Don't lose sight of the fact that you're working towards something great that will change the way you look and feel for the rest of your life. And then again, there are some other ones that came along with lose the guilt. It happened. Accept it. Now do something about it. Focus on small changes. Moving forward doesn't mean taking a giant leap. In fact, smaller changes are proven to be more effective long term than bigger ones. Think about an area that you know you need to work. For example, if you're skipping meals like lunch, your first goal could be to eat your three meals per day, and then balance it with mostly vegetables, source of lean protein and whole grain carbohydrate like quinoa or a starchy vegetable like sweet potato. For those of you that follow that. Focus on consistency. Here's the thing. Back in the 80s, 1980s, restrictive diets were a big thing. Um, and what we found throughout all the research is those fat diets do not work in the short and long term. While you do lose some weight, extreme weight loss short term simply results in a loss of muscle. 
So that's part of the reason you do need to be working out, doing some exercise, so you're not losing muscle. Um, by losing muscle, you decrease your metabolism and not only gain the weight back over time, but have a harder time losing weight again. So you need to confirm by sticking to the diet you have and making sure that it is one that is working for you and gives you lasting results that matter for your weight and health and it makes you feel and look good. Get active. That's right, you gotta get active. There are gonna be people that say you don't need to exercise and that is one thing that I see with a lot of people that do keto or carnivore diet. They always say you don't have to exercise. No, you don't have to exercise. But, if you want to keep your muscle mass, and you want to keep that metabolism up, exercise not a, is not a dirty word and not a bad thing to put in your repertoire, even if it makes you sweat. And I don't like to sweat. As always, remember to hydrate. It's very important to hydrate yourself. Make sure you're getting enough water. Um, you might want to skip all the teas like fennel and mint because those make you bloated. Okay? No, they don't. I read that wrong. Sorry, folks. Those are anti-bloating. There are a lot of other fluids that make you bloat. So you want to stay away from those. You want to really stay away from a lot of fruit juices. Those are considered empty calories. Um, but you do want to add some fruit and vegetables into your diet as, as you can. As always, remember there are benefits to this. Okay? A lot of benefits. Don't lose sight of the fact that you are working towards something great that will change the way you look and feel for the rest of your life. It was a short one today and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gives you a little more insight into some things that you can do when you do fall off the wagon. Like I said, I did fall off the wagon this week, but I had a lot of social things that I was going to that involved food. And a lot of them were potluck. When you go into a potluck, you never know what you're going to get. And here's my downfall. If there's cheesecake there, I'm having it. That's all there is to it. Um, and sometimes I like to try the different things. And a lot of times when people bring things to potluck, lots of times it's chili, it's high fat foods, and it's a ton of food, you know. Or it's barbecue, or it's baked beans, or it's, you know, who knows what it's going to be. But, I know, I can get back into it. So, I don't give myself a hard time about it. I just learn from the mistake and figure out, what can I do the next time that we have one of these things? Is there a way that I can eat around it so I don't have to, you know, enjoy, partake of all those things? Or should I just go with an open mind, have a little bit of everything, and enjoy the day, and get back on it the next day? Usually that's what I'll choose to do. All right, guys, that's it. Remember to be kind to one another, love one another, love yourself. Get out there and see this big, beautiful world. While you're at it, doesn't hurt to take a walk. Have you seen the fall colors? <sighs> gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. See you, see you again soon. Bye.